crazy to me that I actually went to the Downton Abbey movie because I've only seen really one episode of the show and also the only other thing I know about the show is in passing in Iron Man 3 when Happy's watching it in the hospital. Sunday night's PBS, Downton Abbey. That's a show he thinks it's elegant. What's going on everyone? Welcome to our brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing the Downton Abbey movie. This is of course based on the hit television show that many people are fans of that I never truly got into. So I thought it would be a little bit interesting to dive into this and go into this movie kind of not really knowing anything about the show. And I did get to take my grandma who is a major fan of the show. So we got two cool perspectives on there. My grandma perhaps, let me just say this, she absolutely loved it. And I think for fans of the show, you're going to love this movie because everything that she was having in there and a lot of my crowd reaction hearing them talk about it and hearing them just fan service it up after the audience i was sitting there i'm like yeah you you all enjoyed this and my grandma really liked it so i think fans of this are absolutely gonna love this and that's definitely who this is made for it's made for people who love the show and and that's the truth that is the absolute truth if you love the show you're gonna love the movie you like the show you're gonna like the movie and for me did i like it yeah, I did. For really not knowing anything about it, I, I enjoyed it for the most part. Well, I do have some small quips here and there, whether it does feel like it truly does feel like a TV show. It, it feels like there's two episodes just smashed together and pushed into here, or in general, just a TV special. That's something that we've always had issues, though, when it comes from a TV show trying to go into a movie. You had the Entourage movie, you have Downton Abbey, and in general, you also have that Breaking Bad movie that I'm definitely looking forward to, even though it's not going to the theaters, it's just going to be on Netflix. It, it's still a thing, though, when you, when you see that it, it sometimes can just feel like a TV special when it's going into the theaters. Even though it felt that way, I was still enjoying it for the most part. The script in here is actually very well, and the dialogue is probably the most excellent part about the movie, and in fact actually had me interested to go and check out the show now, which is something that I couldn't say the most part, because even though I, I truly, I can't tell you a single character's name in here, I can't tell you a single character's backstory or arc to it, from what I understand from my grandma is that she was telling me on our way home home she started telling me well this person's story ended here this person's story ended here and it really over endingly ends a couple arcs throughout the show from what I understand and hearing that out again makes me want to go back and watch the show now that all 53 episodes that they had of it for what the movie gave to me I was entertained for the most part with great dialogue in there and really good performances in here I could feel the passion coming off the screen that this wasn't just obviously a cash grab everyone came back they all had a central idea because the story is about the Downton Abbey family and of course Royalty is coming to stay with them. They must prepare. There's a nice couple fun subplots in there, especially with the servants. The house servants probably had the most entertaining part of the whole entire movie, and definitely, even though it is a subplot to the whole story, I was all on board for it. And every character in here, again, this is why it kind of felt like a TV show, every character had something to do. Every single person you met on screen had something to do. Where if you watch a TV show sometimes you can push some characters to the side to give this character a little bit more progression in this and in the movie it's kind of just touching on each and every person and in times it can be a little bit predictable by the end as it's wrapping up you're like okay this person's story is going to get wrapped up this person's going to get story is going to get wrapped up and as it's going it gets a little bit repetitive in that and I'm speaking as someone who has never watched the show really and doesn't know much about it and for the most part as a tv movie going into theaters I liked it I thought it was entertaining and with a great dialogue and with a wonderful spill of enchantness in there, there is enough in this movie to entertain me. For me, not being a fan of the show, that is enough. From hearing how passionate my grandma was about this movie and how much she adored the show and how much that she adored the movie, it kind of warmed my heart up to this movie a little bit more. Okay, to my final thoughts, guys, make sure to slap that like and subscribe button where I do tons of early movie reviews like this on a daily basis, talk tons of geeky content, and of course, do other types of videos on this channel on a daily basis. Plus, over to Samsung Films, you guys are interested in seeing movies early, and of course, give a big round of applause to all my Patreon supporters because without them, I wouldn't be able to do this. Overall, the Downton Abbey movie was enjoyable. I laughed. I had some fun, and I had a smile on my face, and plus I stayed awake. Usually these period piece movies aren't their typical kind of movie for me. It takes a bit for me to get into these, and definitely this movie did take a bit for me. I still don't know any characters' names. I really didn't really understand where they were all going. All the relationships and incense kind of felt a little bit surface level to me, but with hearing that though, that's my fault for not doing the research and not seeing it. But I'm just judging it solely based on a movie. For me personally, I think it was still a fine movie with fun dialogue 
in there and really I, I, I had a smile on my face. This movie isn't for me though. This is a movie made for Downton Abbey fans and hearing how much fun my grandma had during this movie and hearing how much fun my audience had who definitely after the screening you want, you want to take your friends and family who are big fans of Downton Abbey. You want to make sure to go opening night with them because it's definitely going to be a bunch of other Downton Abbey fans. And I think all of you guys are going to definitely enjoy that. So with all that said, I'm going to give this movie a B-. It's a solid movie for sure. And I think a lot of you fans are going to enjoy this. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Check out Sandwich on Films. And I'll make sure to catch you guys soon. Stay classy.